In three weeks, more than 30,000 Cincinnati Public School students will head back to class. That's right. The start of the new school year could also see some new additions to the district's code of conduct. WLWT News 5's Todd Dykes has more now on why an attack on a freshman put violent behavior under the microscope. Well, classroom expectations and consequences for bad conduct are the kinds of things outlined in CPS's code of conduct, but an assault on a student back in March highlighted one particular hole in the code district leaders hope to fill heading into the new school year. The pained words of a Schroeder High School student's mother resonated deeply during a school board meeting four months ago. I'm here to talk to you today because quite frankly, I am appalled. My heart is broken. Tamara Lanier's son was beaten unconscious by classmates over a biology assignment. In addition to arrest warrants issued by police, the Cincinnati Public Schools Code of Conduct called for students who were involved in the attack to temporarily attend an alternative school called the Promise Center in Winton Hills. While they're there, there are support services for them. There's restoration for them. There's mental health support for them. There's academic support for them. But the students accused of beating up their classmate at this school in Madisonville were not required to show up to the Promise Center. When students don't attend, they don't get the benefit of those things. In her second year on the job, CPS Superintendent Ironetta Wright wants to see, in her words, a major change to the district's code of conduct as it relates to students facing lengthy suspensions. If they're suspended from school or, or if they're referred to the alternative program for a period of 20 days, that they have to complete at least 70% of that time before they return to their home school. Having an attendance requirement reflects the way Wright views actions and consequences. How do you learn from the choice that you made while, there, while understanding that there is a consequence, but how do we also help you recover from that consequence? Wright says the proposed change involving the Promise Center was driven in part by teenagers in the district who've watched classmates return to their home schools without having, quote, served their time, according to those teenagers, an indication many young people understand the importance of appropriate punishment. Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.